Hey, hey guys, welcome back to the Cruiser Man's Inventions. This is the Alternator Build Part 2. And uh, so as you can see, guys, I'm just going to take you through the slide show. The front's been all cleaned up. The back's been all cleaned up. Center's been taken out. This is where the bridge rectifier is. And the brushes are right here. You can just see them poking out there. So that's the part we need. So we've got to part that from that. Okay, this is the back of the alternator, uh, cleaned up, oh no, that might have been stock standard dirty actually, yeah, and I started cleaning the rotor up, some of it's dirty, it's all cleaned up now of course, it's going through the process, uh, took out the, the whole bridge rectifier pack and the brushes, um, that's what it looks like there, and that's the brushes inside, two brushes a positive and negative now this is what it looks like without it and this is me parting the brushes chopping this clip and the other clip taking the bridge rectifier away just keeping the brushes and that's the part that I'll use for something else that's the bridge rectifier <laughs> changes AC current to DC Okay, that's the bridge rectifier, uh, no, sorry, that's the brushes I need, so I clean them up, and in the back of it was this little plastic cap there that you can slide off, and it lets you get into where the, this part, where the spring and the wire and the brush is soldered into that little plastic compartment, so and that's what it looks like on the inside. And, oh, here we go, cleaned up inside, oh, cleaned up everything and painted, beautiful, everything's ready to go back together, uh, the wires are on the points, positive and negative for the separate battery to power up the center, all the wires are done for the three phase wires to go to the coil and and the separate ones for the points that's the wires there couldn't quite get a good shot on that weirdly enough okay let's have a look that's the point system put back in with a couple of minor things missing like in the back the black back plastic part was missing so what I had done is I uh, had got a hold of some zip ties and because I didn't want these two points, this two soldered points hitting any metal whatsoever, so I melted two zip ties into the ends, and that put a plastic protective layer over it. This is the center going back in, looking good. And this is the three phase wires poking out the air vents in the back. Beautiful. And this is it now, guys. So let's go and fire it up. Let's go and see what this thing's made of. All right, guys. Here we go. Big thumbs up to that one. And that's what it looked like before. A rusty pile of doo-doo. Let's go and have a look, guys. All right. So here is the electric carcass alternator bike. But believe it or not, it doesn't keep showing up on YouTube. Unless I just say alternator carcass bike or alternator bike, and then it will come up. But, uh, so this is it here, this is the original one in the carcass, but this is the one here we've been doing up. So I've got it on the 1000 watt controller at 72 volts and we'll turn it on. And I'm using 40, uh, 24 volts, that's two of these little batteries to power up the center. So we'll turn that one on. Everything's a little bit crammy in here guys because I, I'm just using the carcass controller and batteries. Uh, for the setup, so the three phase wires here are going back to the brushless controller, 1000 watt, 48 volt controller. You can max them out up to 80 volts, and uh, yeah, just disconnected all the ones off the carcass. These ones are connected. Let's fire it up, guys. Okay, if I can, this is this is going to be hard for me. Okay, I'm going to try and hold this motor and the camera. I just hope it doesn't fly off. Here we go. Wow. 
She's got some power. Yeah, she's definitely got some power. I had to hold that with my camera hand because my other one's up here. So yeah, you can see. I'll try and do it again. She, if I wrap it right back, it'll fly out of my hand. Yeah, she's got some instant takeoff power. I like it. That motor is 90 amps, and the one on the carcass is only a 55. So this one that I just built uh, has different mounts on it, though. But it is faster, a bit faster than this one. So yeah, really wrap with that. Now it's worth as an e-bike motor at least two to 250 bucks as an e-bike motor now converted. So that was a big markup, really. And, uh, you know, only cost me 50 bucks. <laughs> awesome stuff, guys. That is so cool. Big thumbs up to all my new subscribers, guys. Thanks for watching. Cruiser man out, guys. Cool, cool.